Hey there, welcome back to the Mothcast, a podcast about video games and how a couple of moths feel about them. The game for episode 25 is called Gods Will Fall, an asymmetrical roguelike dungeon crawler with eldritch themes. Pick your large or small character and let's get into the podcast. All right, so the game this week is called Gods Will Fall. And what a game it is. I um, guess. <laughs> you can you can go ahead and start. I guess. So Gods Will Fall, just to give it a bit of a description here. Gods Will Fall is a strange roguelike style, like roguelite style, not even light. I like. I, it's like roguelite adjacent, I guess. Yeah, it's, um, it's sort of roguelike. Yeah, it is. Kind it's of like, like it's like the adjacent. it's like the um. I don't know what, what perspective is it like. Not over the. It's not over the shoulder. It's like it's like top down. It's top down. I guess that's isometric. Yeah, isometric is the word I'm looking sort for. Sort of. So isometric, like dungeon crawler hack and slash game. Um, it's set in the undetermined a very old time period where uh um, grug hits things with hammer and kinda, in order to yeah. defeat the enemy you have to just run at them and like punch stone age ish uh, yeah no because there are like bronze weapons and stuff and steel the weapons technically age. so like so like i don't know i, I, I don't even age. Fantasy Bron- fantasy Iron Age? <laughs> yeah, like fantasy age like, of undetermined what, time. It's it's what it kind of felt like to me was like fantasy Viking. Yeah, definitely. Um definitely fantasy Viking, um at least inspired by, if nothing else. Um Yeah, I uh I I don't I don't hate the premise of this game. I actually, no. I think that the premise of this game is fantastic. It's pretty good, yeah. It's a, it's a good game. Good um, premise. but I'm gonna spoil it for a bit for you. We have different opinions on this game, and yeah. I don't think it's good. <laughs> we, uh, we do have different opinions, but I, I feel like we'll, we'll, do, we'll tell you why we have different opinions. Don't worry, like we'll get there. Um, let's talk about some of the more like objective things about this game. Yeah. Uh, the music is phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> like I can't really describe it as anything else. It's definitely really hype, um, but not in the like, not in the like hyper pop sort of uh like get you pumped up and like like adrenaline rushing through your veins type of pumped you know and hyped. It's more of like, uh, it's more of like whenever you do a thing, there's this like tribal like oh and then there's drums and then there's like other like percussion instruments and uh lots of pounding beats it's it's like really um like basically tribal music yeah it's it's definitely it's definitely tribal music um but like with kind of a kind of a like i i almost want to say a horror-ish edge where whenever something happens it does that like that like screeching well, um, sort of yeah, thing, of. you know what I mean? Um, I mean which I the, go ahead. None of the none of the bosses or anything are um, like you know not horrific. I mean, yeah. The one thing that we left out at the beginning is that uh, out of the the description is that there the idea behind this game is because it's called Gods Will Fall. The gods that you're looking for are eldritch gods that have basically been uh, the undoing of humanity, various yeah. civilizations. Yeah. Um, and you know, like basically, your your people. Well, we'll we'll talk about it here in a minute. I just want to I want to talk about like the graphics and the music oh, for yeah. a second. The the music is like it, it definitely keeps you in it and like you want to you want to listen to the music because it best it basically keeps with the tempo of the fight um pretty well i would say that the sound design to this game other than the fact that nothing is in english uh verbally is really good i i don't 
I don't know if I really necessarily like the fact that they um they like I don't know I I don't know what language it's in I I should look it up well, but I'm not going to <laughs> uh it might just be a fantasy language or it could be uh like Cyrillic Cyrillic that's um I don't know if that's a language that's like a is that a language that's like I, a description of is it a description I an alphabet. Well, uh, disregard. <laughs> Just, uh, uh, anyway, don't, um, ignore that. Don't worry about that. I yeah, to, I, I um, I I don't know what the language is, but it's it's definitely very like, it, it definitely reminds you of like, I don't have a way to say this that is very nice other than like, me caveman me hit. You know what I mean? Like, I know, yeah, you're you're screaming guttural noises at people, and the people are screaming guttural noises back at you. Uh, but it's being translated into English. Like, I almost wish that they had left out any and all translation and just, like, left you with nothing. Because that would even, that would just, that would make the game more interesting. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, oh yeah, uh, for sure. Having none of the story or, like, you know, no explanation of how to play. Would you really want no explanation on how to play Yeah, I actually, you know, I, I'm going to be honest, I would. Uh, really? Considering the fact that, like, I had to you had? I had to intuit so much of the bullshit of this game. I mean game. considering yeah, we had to anyway. I had to I had to like drill down and figure out the shit that like this game how this game ran myself without any help from the game. Yeah, I yeah. wish they would just leave it alone. Um just take a rest out, yeah. You don't it. need words to say how much strength you have. You know? You don't need words to say how much vigor you have. You know, like you can put a number there or you can put a like uh like a pie sliced into x number of pieces, right? Or a gauge that's filled up to however many pieces it is with like a flexing arm next to it. And it's like, "Oh, I have that many strength." You know what I mean? Like go go full all the way with the UI elements, with the you know like this eldritch Viking aesthetic. Just just do the whole thing, whole whole ham. Like do it all. Yeah. They didn't though, which is fine. You know it's, I mean, it's still fine. a game, obviously. Um, but I you know you don't need it. You don't need to do any of that stuff. Uh, yeah, um, the graphics are kind of bad, <laughs> in yeah, my they opinion. Were little, they were, little, um, what's the word? They're not, they're not, like, phenomenal. I wouldn't say they were quite bad. They I mean, look like, like PS2 graphics. Yeah, I was gonna say that. They're, they're like, like archaic. The, the thing is, is, I mean, they're... They're they're like smooth PS2 graphics, you know. Yeah, they weren't I mean, like, I guess. As like you know, glitchy and like blocky as PS2 graphics, but it was definitely intentional. I mean, so it was like, like it was don't get me smooth. wrong, fully, fully yeah, serviceable. I, I agree that they were they were like less than stellar but graphic. Like they were completely serviceable. Um, it's not like they're not. It's not like they're painful. It's painful to look at. It was okay. Yeah, they were they were serviceable. They just I don't like know. Like I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you are. Uh I just I don't know. I just wish that like maybe they had taken steps to make it a little bit better. Um not that I necessarily need like beautiful character models uh or anything like that. Like I would just like something to be like really if, like I said, with the UI elements and, and, and the talking in another language thing, it's like, if you're going to commit to it, like, commit to it. Make your characters look grimy. If they're, if, you know, you finish a dungeon and somebody's oh. hurt, I want to oh, see I'm them, like, fully hurt. What's up? Yeah, I agree. I okay. Fell oh, you fell in a hole. R.I.P. Um, yeah. No, uh. Like, I, you know, commit to that, that, like, exterior layer of grime. And mm -hmm. I think that it, it actually lends to your game rather than take away. You know, people don't need to see clean characters all the time. 
if you add a gradient of like what how beat up or whatever a character is depending on xyz buff or debuff they have i think that that yeah. i think that really lends to your type this type of game especially since they're going for this really nitty gritty um eldritch viking game i don't know how else to mm -hmm. put it um since out of the two of us you technically beat the game uh yeah. all the way through which uh i didn't and uh, i'll let you describe how you beat the game um, and i'll let you tell me what the story is while i drink my coffee well uh how i beat the game was basically like well, no, I mean, like, what is the win condition of the game? Oh, the win, the win, the win condition is kill all the the bosses. This is this is kind of like a boss rush kind of game, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are like smaller enemies within each realm, but like, what you're after is the boss of each area. Right. So it's kind of like a boss rush, hack right. slash beat him up. You know. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Um. Not not that like yeah. any of the not that any of the little enemies are inconsequential. Like you don't on some of the harder levels, you don't really rush through and just like never take damage from these enemies, you know? Yeah. Um there are definitely like <laughs> you will you will die if you underestimate them. Yeah, true. Um, but the win condition is um Kill all the the bosses. Yeah. Uh. So, um, and it's like right as you beat, right as you kill the last one, and like the whole, like you go out of the cave, the like the end cinematic starts. Well, what? Okay, so before we get there, like, what's the beginning cinematic then? What do you mean? Like, give me a give me a sentence that describes what happens in the beginning. I mean, is there anything else? Uh, that that we didn't say, like monsters descended upon and like empowered our enemies and and destroyed our world, and so we went to go kill them. Was like basically what I got out of it. But like, was there anything else? Um, no, I believe that's it. It's like, uh, the the creator made these like creatures that were like higher, uh, like, um, and then like eventually made humans to like worship these creatures and then uh you know yeah and the, then humanity was like forsaken by these by the like gods with a lowercase g mm. and uh so the it's humans were like nah this is not cool anymore we're gonna go and uh kick their butt and yeah so you're you tr like go on a boat and go to this island that they're all on. Well, it, I you, guess it's worth mentioning that you don't just, like, go there. You try to go there, and then your ships get destroyed. Yeah, I was you, and that. the small, like, crew of people that you play as in that particular run is, okay. like... Survivors. Yeah, they're the survivors. So, you know, they're, they wash up on a beach, and then you start playing. Um, yeah. And then, like you said, you have to go through and kill ever, all 10, and then the ending cinematic plays. And then what happens on the ending cinematic? Because obviously, yeah, I didn't, um, uh, I didn't get there. We'll talk about that in a minute. Basically, <laughs> it's like, uh, well, here, I don't know if, let's see if I can pull it up here. I don't remember exactly. It's, it's along the lines of like, um, the all the god with all the gods defeated that like humanity can flourish oh really that's it yeah pretty much in probably um, more flowery and not english words yeah basically <laughs> okay well that's it. Uh, i like i guess that's a story i like i don't know compared to a lot of other games that we've played that speak a lot less english than this game does yeah uh they tell a lot better story. I'm looking at you, Hob. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good game. Y'all should play Hob. Yeah, go play Hob. Um, not this game. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I mean this game's okay. 
Hob's better. Go play Hob. Well, I'm just saying that like there there's ways like even I think it's submerged hidden depths where there was no there's no like there's no talking. You don't talk. You know, there's no English yeah, words. Yeah, there's there's, no... there's looks on faces. There's um I don't know, symbols, there's there's uh -huh. pictures, there's hieroglyphics, but there's no Stuff like, like that, words. Yeah. You don't really get anything. Like there there's a lot of talking and there's even a lot of like in the levels you'll find like little little like scrolls left fight by dead men. And like you look at them and like what is, they don't say anything like no. there's so many there's so many situations where they could have told you a story or added some kind of like vague world building but instead they just wasted it on like hey don't forget to dodge if you forgot how to do that like <laughs> you know oh, yeah, it's and will fall and you're talking about those yeah that you're talking about this smirch. no 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 in i'm not i'm this is a gods will fall podcast listen i'm gonna shit on everything i can um <laughs> um uh real quick the ending cinematic is basically what i said it's just like it's like with the gods dead they're the humankind is now free and they can you know do whatever do whatever they want Okay, well, that's remarkably boring. Um, yeah, it kind of was. This is uh, unfortunately one of those gameplay is king games, but <sighs> oh boy, there's a lot of issues with that. Like, this is another situation where like your game could look like shit, and this one does. Um, and yeah. your gameplay yeah. is good, and it really carries the game. And I don't care what it looks like just needs to have good gameplay and it'll make the game better but no the gameplay was also uh, not great either in this game definitely it it's not um so like like i said before uh you you have control of this group of of misfits that are all like warrior cast um washed up yeah. on the shore to go kill uh, they're randomly generated, right? Which means that you have the variations, which is you have like big people and small people, male and female. Like I that's think there's also like a medium. Really? Because like, like I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> because I'm looking at it right here, and there's like this man's really wide, or this this person's really like large and wide. Then there's this like really really muscly guy, and then there's this like really skinny guy. Hmm. Okay. Well, so, maybe there's a big, medium, and small. I you know I'm not. I, I whatever. I, mean, I don't know. I don't cool. Know like whatever. I'm glad. Maybe that has something to do with what I'm about to talk about. Uh, in the in a in a bit with the strength and the vigor. Um, don't know. It's hard to know because there's no wiki here. There's no wiki for this game. There's no, like, I don't know. There, there's not a lot of information out there on this game. I tried to look something up, and it just, you find, like, various vague Reddit posts of people asking the same question and other people being like, well, I walked in and punched that guy to death, and he died, and I don't, what, I don't know how to help you. It was easy for me yeah. or something like that. You that know, sounds like my experience. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So like we said before, there's 10 places and you take this group of, of randomly shaped people with their random weapons between axes, maces, uh, like large axes, Lord. large maces, dual axes, dual maces, swords, Spear. spears. And I think that's it. Um, yeah, sword, spear, axes, maces, large axes, large maces, dual axes, dual maces. Um, there were no dual swords. Don't know why. Um, there were no large swords. Don't know why. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, so those are like your weapons. Each one plays a little bit differently. My personal opinion, I think the spear was the best weapon. Um, with the... Regular sword being second, as strange as that sounds. Uh, I don't know yeah. 
if you have an opinion, I assume that you just like hitting things with large, with other large other things. Uh, the the large axe, I think, was the best. Yeah, I mean the large the weapons I, were good. What, that's, that's what Morgan used. <laughs> that's what my guy I used. used. Um, um, did did you even use any of the like smaller weapons? I know you said at one point oh, yeah, you yeah, used yeah. spears, but like no, I used the spears sometimes. I haven't. I never used any of the dual weapons. Uh, you're missing out. Um, because like the one person I had with dual weapons died. Hmm. And then, or not died, but like, you know, got taken. And then I just. Well, I mean, them. the dual weapons were unique um, and dare I say uniquely good because the like sort of dodge mechanic, which it wasn't, it's not, this is not like a Dark Souls dodge. The dodge mechanic is like you kind of scoot to the side a little. Um, you do I think you can oh that's a track I've never seen before. Um you can like dodge dam dodge all damage, I think. Well yeah, you can if you time it like frame perfect, it feels like. Um especially on some of the bosses, it feels like frame per perfect is very annoying. Um Yes, you can. It says that there are iframes during the dodge animation, but not very many on one of the tooltips. Um, yeah. But the other thing that's weird is that the, like... Oh boy. that's a lot of health. Um, the run is also tied oh. to the dodge. You have to, like, yeah, the, dodge and then like run. dodge and then hold the button to run. Yeah. Uh, I've obviously designed for... Like game pads, but I, okay, whatever, dude. Uh, Osseus is not good. Oh, yeah, yeah, this Osseus time. is never good. The fact that you had a, a, an easy time with him the first time is you know, whatever. Anyway, well, that was a coincidence because I would assume it would have it like random to be uh easy, yeah, yeah. It that's being another a thing. Game, uh, the look, I got strength on that guy when that guy got killed. Um, <laughs> what. Okay. Was skinny guy who got taken, and uh, this guy got strength. Um, yeah, it, the the bosses are random whether or not they're, uh, like, like early game or late game, like they're easy or hard. Yeah, when he, when he says random, he says he means like the difficulty of the, of area, the area and like, um, I guess the boss. It's technically, I think it's like. They take the same amount of damage no matter what, but if they're on the harder side, they're gonna have more moves. Kind of, I don't know. Um, um this like, time, this was a this is Osseus is a late uh, game. He had a he had he had a lot of he had a lot of uh, health. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I played. For example, I have the first time I played, I played against the water guy first. I don't remember his right. name. It doesn't matter. Um, I went and like absolutely crushed him, but whenever I first played, it was definitely an easy dungeon because he spawned like two guys during his spawn phase. Yeah. They died very quickly and I just like threw swords at him until he died. Basically, that was my strategy. Yeah. Now, Sounds right. <laughs> I played him when he was technically like he had to have been like late game, like like literally 10th on the difficulty meter because woof uh he spawned about 13 guys in that part of the fight alone and they did not die in one hit they died in three hits and so you know as you can imagine uh you don't really have an easy time aoeing in this game uh, you, if you're fighting multiple enemies at once that have large health pools, it's very difficult unless you are like using an axe. Yeah, which like swings. Um, and so, yeah, very, very, very big difference between the like easy enemies and the like end game enemies. I guess you could say like the late, the late enemies. Um. So I want to talk about the 
the way that stats work in this game, which is nothing but absolute misery. Yeah, it's dog shit. Like, just the worst I've ever seen. Actually the worst I've ever seen. Like, genuinely while I was playing this game, I thought this game was, like, in the running for worse than Wonder Boy for the games that we've played so far. And I won't say it's worse than Wonder Boy, but it's definitely, it's definitely down there, dude. Um, just in the way this game is constructed. So you have, like, obviously you have the variables that are the size of your character and the, like, weapon the character uses. You can change the weapon after you win something. You can, you know, you can give them a new weapon. Um, you can't change their size, obviously, because, you know, you can't really do that with humans. Um, yeah. But after every uh, dungeon that you complete, and I, uh, I guess sometimes when you don't complete them, I don't know, mm -hmm. um, you get either vigor or strength. Because those are the only two stats in the game. Yep. Vigor is your health. Health. Right? So, you know, obviously the higher vigor, the more health bars you have, and the more hits you can take. Great. Uh, strength is, like, far and away better than vigor. Like, you could go into a, a, a map with, let's say, 10 strength and, like, 3 vigor. Like, yeah. not even joking. 3 vigor. Mm, and, I wouldn't say three, but maybe oh like no, five. oh yeah, dude. There are times where in late game ones with no strength, I was wiping the floor with these basic enemies. Doesn't even matter, okay? It didn't matter. Who cares? I would never get hit. Not because I'm a god gamer, but it's because the small enemies are very predictable, and who cares about them? Um, the, but if you have like strength. You can walk up to the boss and deal and like, like yeah, 10 chunks true. of damage in one hit with the worst saying, weapon. I'm just saying the, uh, the um, like, vigor thing is because most enemies did, like, two health hits with even the, like, low-level enemies. Well, yeah, but, like, it, it, but if they never hit you, who cares? And if you're one-shotting yeah. them with the 10 strength, who cares? You don't get hit. You don't take damage. You can heal it back literally at any time because that's how this game works. You know, if you if you can take at least one hit, it doesn't like nothing matters unless you're taking multiple hits in a row, which almost never happens unless you're fighting like multiple sword guys or a guy that's throwing shit at you and a sword guy and you don't dodge. Yeah. You know, there's there's plenty of times, but it, it is not to be understated how important strength is to the success of these dungeons. Because, yeah. like, the more difficult things get, the faster enemies attack and the faster bosses attack and the more, like, often they attack. And if you're spending your time dodging or trying to parry and failing inevitably, uh, you're going to die. Like, you don't have time to attack ever and y you need to have those attacks deal damage. And if you have zero strength throughout the entire game... Like me, you <laughs> yeah. don't ever, you get to those end game fights and you never, you can never deal damage and eventually you it's a war of attrition and you just lose. Yeah, because the bosses just fucking hit you any time because their attacks are too fast. Yeah, their attacks are so fast. Well, and that leads me to like one other thing I'll say, uh, you, the hitboxes in this game are fucking dog shit, like absolute dog shit. Yeah. I don't know who made them. I don't know if it's the perspective's fault or oh what, but the the hitboxes Speaking in this game hitboxes, fucking unbelievable. Um, like sometimes you'll just like accidentally fall through the map or like slip off the side of some area because the game decided that that's what was the case. Well, it's not that; it's the fact that like I just swung three times through that guy and he didn't take any damage. Yeah. Um, it, um, okay, so the thing that I theorized was if you're using small characters, 
you will not get strength on any of your characters. Because I almost, not exclusively, but like primarily played with small characters because they're the easiest to like never take damage with. Yeah, because they're faster. Because they're fast. And especially with um, the dual weapons, if you use the dual weapons, you can dodge mid-animation, which means if you have good reflexes, you never take damage. Surprise! Um, which makes sense, and it's good. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things I want to talk about, is the you can't, you can't interrupt your own moves. Well, no, yeah, no. Dodge, and- which is, like, always a always a bad thing well it's not always a bad thing if you have a reason for that to happen like oh you know real life happened and it decided that you were unable to change trajectories halfway through yeah sure whatever okay cool you're making it realistic that's cool that's a great reason but you have to be consistent and allowing dual weapons to be able to dodge and uh like other weapons to not is (laughs) It's not a very, like, it's not a very consistent metric. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like, like, being able to dodge, like, while attacking or, you know, like, being able to interrupt your own attack is, like, kind of should be allowed, I guess. I don't know. Uh. I think what you're getting at is the fact that you can't do that. It kind of, um, it makes the like combat very, uh, clunky and kind of annoying really Yeah. (laughs) Uh, for lack of a better descriptor descriptor. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I understand that in real life you can't like, if you're swinging something, you're not going to be able to like, Stop, stop them stop swinging because you know newton's laws of physics and whatnot um unfortunately for the rest of us he was right anyway uh, but yeah the thing is is like you enemies can stop you from swinging because oh yeah they can knock you down yeah. anytime they want basically yeah. or like and if like i feel like i should be able to knock myself down via rolling or, you know, <laughs> if you're like physics or if your hitbox was just like slightly off and the enemies wasn't and it, it like hits you during a hit a swing you just lose the fight basically yeah. you because have to then start they over just, and they just like stagger you constantly and they combo you yeah it's um it's oh, not very well designed also, you can't interrupt like, their you can't interrupt their like while they're swinging either so you can with maces no, 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 no. listen not while they're swinging. Sometimes you can with maces. Because the big weapons that I used were almost always maces, and I definitely were able to use those and stagger a lot of people, unless they had armor. So, like, I don't know if there's, like, a built-in, like, uh, like, a built-in... I don't know, special theme to every weapon where it's like maces are um, like they knock people down more. Uh, And then you have dual weapons, which allow you to dodge mid animation. Uh, Maybe axes deal more damage to downed enemies. I don't know, you know, like, and then spears obviously have a longer range and then swords. I don't know. It's the jack of all trades, whatever. Fuck it. Like, yeah. um, I don't know. I, it's, there's I mean, a lot that you don't know about this game where there's no information there, anywhere. There is like a weapons like thing whenever you can choose weapons at the end of a, a level. They do have like information on the weapon. Yeah, but it's just a description. It's not really like yeah, it yeah, doesn't but tell I'm, you anything. I'm pretty sure it does. I remember one of them, like, I think, I think it was, like, axes or something deals more damage to, um, like, downed enemies or something. I, maybe. I was just making that up. I don't actually know if that's true. I, I don't, I don't know if it's true either, but, like. Anyway, I'm, like, super meandering. There's a lot to hate in this game. Um, yeah, if you're going to play it, 100% never use small people. 
like unless it's the end game and they're already buffed because my theory is if you finish a mission with a small person it's going to give you vigor up or you know strength so, down on so everybody what so what you're trying to say peter is screw the small people right yeah basically if you play with like <laughs> if you play oh, with man. like an agile play style that doesn't hit hard and take damage and then heal it like you just are screwed it's 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 like really annoying because i tend to play fast characters in almost every game and here we are with this game a lot allocating the most important stat to having to use like bulky slow characters that don't actually take that much more damage than the smaller characters they don't get knocked down less they don't have any inherent advantages other no, than no, their weapons just, are slower like they're just the same basically yeah like, like, like the it's not even the weapons are slower. They can use some of them. It, another thing that's random is what weapons. Oh, it's definitely not those random. characters can use. No, it's no, it's no. definitely it, not it random. No, no, I tested it. Sure. I tested it. Listen, big people can use the smallest weapon they can use is the sword. They can't use dual weapons. They can't use spears. Small people cannot use big okay. weapons, and that's it, <laughs> basically. They can use the single weapons, they can use the double weapons, they can use the spears. That's it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, there's no, it, it, in games like this, if it's going to be random, like, make it true random. Don't make it so that I can, I can, like, nudge the meter one way or the other. Just make it so that, like, if I win a mission, give me random strength to everybody, or random vigor to everybody, or even both. The fact that it never gives you both, it only gives you yeah. one, is one or the other. like actually Sometimes, extremely frustrating. If you're really unlucky, it goes down. Yeah. Um, the last also, run before I threw um, my controller at the wall and kicked my computer over and then lit it on fire because I was so frustrated with this game. Uh, I had a I had a run going and I was six I was six bosses deep. Right. I was I finished the sixth boss, so I was six out of ten, and uh, I finished the sixth one and my character that had one strength i don't know how he got it maybe i finished the level with a, a bigger character at some point like towards the beginning uh that character it was minus strength he was the only person with strength minus strength and everybody else got plus vigor and i'm like are you fucking <laughs> oh, kidding no. me right now oh no uh well okay so as a you, you probably know i've been playing while we were talking mm -hmm. uh two things one, I did a level with a small character. Congrats. I gained, everybody gained vigor, but one person gained strength. Mm. Uh, funnily enough, the person who gained strength was the large person. Hmm. Because I somehow randomed into, like, one large person and, like, a bunch of mixed, medium, and small. Hmm. Uh, well, so, the, 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 the thing on. is... Okay, second sorry, go thing, ahead. Second thing is... I got a Morgan stealing it. That's insane. Your <laughs> luck is unparalleled. That is, in case you're wondering, if anyone here, after my glowing review for this game, uh, decides to play this, the Morgan st steal ingot, you can take it to the level called Morrigan, which is, you know, yes, the uh, Norse goddess of death, uh, Morrigan, mm -hmm. who is a crow. You can go to that level and go to the like prime furnace or whatever it's called and you can yeah. upgrade your weapon no matter what star level it is one through four you can upgrade it to a five level and technically it does the most out of everything which i do believe that if you have but a do uh, they do extra damage they do do extra damage? damage so a one and a two star deals one damage it doesn't add anything i think it's a plus zero so oh, okay. bronze weapons suck, stone weapons suck. Good to know. Um, yeah, but if you get a three star or a four star, that is a plus one to all damage. That's it. I'm assuming, I don't know, because the only time we've ever seen a five star uh, thing is uh, my, your big my, chungus. My chungus. Uh, with like had eight nine strength yeah eight game, strength by the, by the end of the thing like we'll never know but i assume that it's a plus three or sorry plus two yeah i will assume um but yeah it's this game isn't great okay so um 
the the stat stats that I got um by this point uh okay what had happened here on this run is um I failed the like two of them uh, at the start because mm -hmm. uh apparently Osseus and Briath Dorka are actually difficult were, like like end game ones so I failed those um, okay and my stat are now one guy has two strength because i think he like got mad or something okay or like he got well but uh, does he have a plus two strength buff on him no okay he got two base strength because he got um like story buffs i guess mm -hmm. yeah okay sure uh, like seeing his that fellow happens warrior sometimes. return he was undeterred and only more convinced that he would succeed twice because I lost two other people. Wow. So um, he got two strength from that. Very lucky. And then, uh, then everyone else has vigor. Woo! The, everyone else got vigor. The big guy got one strength from that defeat of uh, the one I just did. And then so, the person I used got a strength buff from defeating it. Is it, it's a buff, though. It's not like a permanent stat. It is, yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's like a plus one, <clears throat> not, a, not, a, not a base. Yeah. That's fine, I guess. I, I, like, that actually sounds about right, probably. Yeah. I just, every time I would check my stats, I, I would have, like, like, six out of seven characters that had zero strength, and then one character that had one. So, yeah. like... That does not make things easy compared to yours where you showed me it was like four, five, yeah, three, it was six, crazy. eight, it was nine, three. Like everyone had strength and high vigor somehow. Yeah. So like, I don't know weird. if you had like I literally the most lucky run of all time. I think I did. Honestly, I think I did. Because like this time it's not going as well. I. But also, that's I also like because it. like. <laughs> I might have gotten also gotten lucky just like of which ones I did. I mean, yeah, that's a fully because, like, understandable. This time, this time, the ones closest to the like start are not the easy ones. Yeah. And I, with the first time I played it, they were the easy ones. Yeah, I had a theory. Uh... And you basically, and you don't know which whenever they are the easier not easy ones until you go in there and then if you go in there you can't come out without losing a, yeah that character is like, basically forfeit which is like a yeah. really fucking annoying design like you should have yeah. grace period to pull somebody out if you want to face that area but you don't <laughs> um oh. i i don't know this game is gonna be like the poster child for great concept bad execution for a long time yeah for me. Like also, um, Willow Bark is goaded. Yeah, Willow Bark is really strong. Always use it. I'm there. I've got so many other things to say. Like there are Go there ahead. are differences. Well, no, I'm I'm ready to wrap up. I'm done talking about this game. This okay. game fucking sucks. I, I don't know. I I don't like the combat. It's like it as you always said earlier. It's clunky. It's like the hitboxes are stupid sometimes. Um, like, you know, the, you can't, the fact that you can't, like, dodge, like, interrupt your own attack, mm -hmm. uh, because, like, if you hit an enemy and they don't stagger from your attack and they, like, you're trying Continue to dodge. To attack you, you just lose. And they just hit you while yeah. you're attacking them. And it's like, okay, well, why can't I just, like, move out of the way? of that and you just have to take the damage oh okay hang on i got i do have one thing to say even though like there are other things to talk about but I, this is one of my prime gripes with the combat parrying the worst yeah. conception of parrying is this game right here yeah, in order to parry which what a parry will grant you is it will grant you a stagger on the enemy automatically cool It'll grant you a whole bunch of, uh, what is it called, like rage or whatever, which uh, is basically bloodlust. Blood blood It'll fill up your vigor bar, and if you go, if you like do a war cry, you'll heal for that much. You like Great. shout, you're like, ah! Perfect. And you, you know? like heal. Sweet. Great. Yeah, that's cool. You get a bunch of that, which is really important for boss battles to keep yourself sustained. Awesome. The way you perform this is by dashing 
into an enemy attack. Okay. But also... No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. In order to do this, the game says whenever there is an, an, an enemy attack that can be parried, okay, there will be a glimmer on their weapon. Okay, This is something that you see in other games a lot. right? They do a glimmer that says, hey, there's an attack coming. Get out of the way or parry this. Right? But other games give, have like set timings to their attacks. This game, due to its lackluster hitboxes, it's really strangely different attack timings for the same yeah. enemy. You just get hit, right? Yeah. You dodge into attacks because you're like, oh, this is an all or nothing parry. Ah, and then you fucking die. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and then they have other attacks which are red, which cannot be parried, which there is a boss that has just the vast amount of their of their attacks are just red attacks and you just die like i don't know uh, it's really stupid and annoying um parrying in this game it, it, like if you wanted to make this game like it's combat it completely parry focused that's fine there are games like that i want to say that the best game that's like that is um i didn't play it but it's i've seen playthroughs of it but sekiro where, like, you're basically parrying everything, right? That's the whole gist of the game. Okay. There's no well, dodging. Just, yeah. Like, uh, the so rest of Dark Souls. I just, I just tested um, by, like, getting myself my ass kicked. Um, so, you, the game makes you think that you're supposed to, like, charge, like, dash into them to parry exactly when the, the sparkle happens, right? Yeah. The game tells you that. Yep. It is not the case. Absolutely not. It is literally the like game, you need to make contact with you, their model. They're like, when the sparkle happens, they're parryable. Yep. It is absolutely not the case. I just tested it with the spear guy. Although spears are different. They like to swing their spears. Well, yeah, um, they can swing their spear and charge. But, yeah, like, it's... only sometimes is the charge parryable. Like, sometimes you charge into the, the charge... And, of the spear charge and you just get skewered and you take like three points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, it's like you have to charge into them <clears throat> to um in order to, to get the parry. To get the parry. And it's anytime after the sparkle. Which kind of leads us to like fighting bosses. This game yeah. turns into like you have to parry the video game. But you, with like one single difference, one, your lives are perishable, okay? You can't repeat this infinitely to get the timing down. Yeah. Two, uh, every like type of character has a different dodge timing, mm -hmm. right? Three, yeah, they also, you have there's to- There's also, we didn't mention earlier, there was a, there's a speed stat. Oh, there is a speed stat, yeah. Who Doesn't cares? go up or down. Um, you Three. have to fight through the entire level to get to bosses again. Yeah. Which absolutely throws off your memorization of timings. So, like, all of these things that games like Dark Souls have already cracked the code on, the makers of this game just said, no, we choose not to see why your, like, your thing works, and we're going to do it this other way that we know doesn't work. Right? Like, fuck our players, I guess. Yeah, like maybe... <laughs> or maybe they didn't know it doesn't work, and that's they just tried it. I guess. I don't know. They tried to be different, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's so frustrating, because, like, like, Dark Souls bosses are really difficult. They're notoriously difficult. Obviously, there are going to be some people that listen to this and say, ah, Dark Souls wasn't hard. I beat that game on my first try. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Fuck you. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Dark Souls games are designed to be difficult. The bosses are designed to be like the pinnacle of their difficulty. They're yeah. designed to be learned. And then once you beat them, you go, yes, I was able to win by learning and overcoming this enemy. Okay. There is no, and the way that they get you to do that is you beat the level that this boss is in. And then there's a campfire relatively close to the boss yeah. right 
And then you can hit that campfire and go in and fight the the boss and die and fight the boss and die and fight the boss and die and then, until you win. Until you get it, yeah. Right. Whereas, like, this is one of my, my my prime complaints of Dark Souls 2 is that that doesn't happen. The the campfire is very far away. Anyway, uh, with this game, you have to fight through the entire level with a different move set. How is this? Every a, time. Every time. Every time you want to crack at the boss. And then, oops, okay, maybe you're like, oh, but you have infinite lives. You can just start the game over again and go back to the same level because there's, you know, you don't have to fight them in any order. You can fight them whenever you want. Yeah, but guess what? Then guess you have what? a new group of people <laughs> with no people buffs. No uh, it's, it's such a frustratingly designed game with a lot of poor choices. And the only thing that was good about it is the music. And that's not a very good game. I don't know. I'm tired of talking about it. I don't like this game. I think this game... You can dodge through these... Okay, never mind. This game This game can suck my toes. Um, do you have anything else to mention about this? Uh, this not this really. pile of trash? Um, um, fucking bow and arrow boss can suck my toes. I don't even know what boss that is, dude. Mithir Sh- Sheridan. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, let's see. Gods Will Fall is a $15 game. There's a DLC, apparently, for um, multiple DLCs. I don't actually know what that means. Interesting. I wonder what the DLC has in it. I'm actually kind of interested. Um, Are you? No. I don't believe you. There, there's a twenty dollar version that includes the DLC. <sighs> I don't know. Oh. I don't play this game. It oh, says wait. similar to Dead Cells and Hades. It's not to either it's of wrong. those. It's wrong. <laughs> it's not similar to either of those. This game isn't good. If you have it free on, um, on, on Epic, Epic like we do, it might be worth well, you like you it? giving you it a try it. just for a little bit. If you like these sorts of like hack and slash things. Um, but there is a really good chance that you'll come to regret it. Uh, it's not a good game. Uh, (laughs) it's not, Uh, it's not the greatest uh, game. uh, No, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to give it not the greatest game. Like, it's not a good game. I know you won't. (laughs) It's, it's not a good game. That's it. It's just not a good game. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I, I'm going to say it's, it was a, you know. Yeah, it was uh, an all right game. That's well, all right. They got, they got both vigor and strength. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a two out of ten, and that's my score. Okay, I was gonna give it like a five, which is still four. not that great. <laughs> which is mid at best. <laughs> yeah, I like. I mean, clearly, <sighs> I had a like a really good run the start. Yeah, but like now at this this time, I'm it's less you're like it's showing its true colors although this person got another strength and that person the big big person got another strength and a vigor yeah well your so, your games can go think, fuck themselves think okay this person, the same person got two skills from two separate like two levels hold on uh another thing you can't check your stats unless you're going into a dungeon yeah, so, it's pretty annoying. Let me, anyway, let me, um, let me go to a dungeon real quick. The next game is Undertale. We're gonna right. play Undertale. Uh, Undertale. Pacifist. You've Undertale, played Undertale. Pacifist. I you've have. Played, you've I played, have played it a bunch of times. I have played it, um, both neutral and pacifist. But I'll play it again. Yeah. Um, I've played it neutral, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember. I had recorded it and I don't really remember a whole lot that happened in that game. Uh, but I would Honestly, like to play I it. I think you should record it again because. Yeah, you know, it's a it's rip. a historic game because it's one of the game of all times. Games of all time. Um, last time you recorded it, the uh, recording got lost to the 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 underworld. Uh, it, my hard drive died, dude. It it perished. Yeah, I, <laughs> I tried to change out my power supply, and it fried two hard drives. It was a really bad time for everybody. Oh, um, shit. That's a really fucking good skill. Anywho, 
If you get the skill Whitewood Oak, increased sturdiness and cannot be knocked down. This lady has 13 vigor. Yeah. Uh, that and one I'm not even that probably far the in best. The game. Probably the best one. I got that one towards the beginning of my first playthrough. And she got <laughs> Wetlander. Unimpeded when wading through water. All right. Undertale, Pacifist, next week. Yeah. Thank you for listening to me rant for yeah. 55 minutes. Have All a good right. one, everyone. See Until you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye.